So you're moving to Fort Lauderdale, maybe you're planning a trip here and you want to know what is there to do? What's fun? Well, stick around. I'll show you next. Hi there, Scott Newbrecht with Costelli Real Estate Services here in Fort Lauderdale. Join me today while I explore Las Olas Boulevard and it starts right now. So welcome to Las Olas Boulevard the premier destination for dining and shopping and hanging out in Fort Lauderdale. Walk the tree-lined streets and pick out where you want to eat next. We have to start out with the Floridian, a traditional favorite for breakfast the next morning. This place has been around for over 50 years. And welcome to Casa Sensai, pan-Asian, Latin fusion food, but this is the best part about this restaurant. Look at this view. It's right on the water, tons of open air outdoor seating, and at the end of the night, there are boats that pull up here that will take you for a little ride. You can't beat that. Say hello to the balcony on Las Olas. The cool thing about this is the balcony upstairs. You can have a drink, hang out with your friends, and watch the people walk down below. And I don't even know what to tell you about these lights. It's just such a cool feeling. You won't see anything else like this on Las Olas. And you have to check out Louis Bassi's Italian Ristorante, a local favorite that never disappoints. And I have to tell you, this place is huge. It's probably one of the largest restaurants on Las Olas Boulevard. Want some burgers and booze? Check out B Square. This place is so cool. It's all open air and it has such a fun vibe. I just love Luigi's Tuscan Grill. It's so quaint and authentic. I mean, don't you just feel like you're in Italy? And Cafe Europa has been around for going on 31 years. It brings food from the heart of Calabria, Italy to Las Olas Boulevard. And if you're young and fun, you have to check out the happy hours at El Camino. This place is always rocking. It's always busy, there's a lot of people around, and it's a good time no matter what day. Hey, are you a millennial? Well then American Social is probably right up your alley. This place is always bustling on the weekends, full of young people having a lot of fun. And I had to show you Wild Sea. I just really love this place. Every time I walk by, it's busy, it has people in it, but I just love the atmosphere and the decor of this place. It just really has a cool feel to it. And now Scott's must do secret tip is you've got to take the water taxi. For a small price, you can go on the water taxi. It'll take you through the waterways in Fort Lauderdale and you can visit different bars, restaurants, etc., and have a great time. And there's so many cool little nooks and crannies right off of Las Olas Boulevard. And this is one of my favorites. I just love these benches built into the wall where you can just sit down and hang out and talk with your friends. So my number one piece of advice to you if you're going to Las Olas, download the pay by phone parking app so you can pay and extend your parking from your phone. Okay, so I am gonna share one of my favorite little parks with you. It's just off of Las Olas Boulevard, one street back on Brickell and I'm gonna show you why you'll love it just as much as I do. So Collie Hammock Park is definitely a multi-million dollar piece of property situated right on the New River. And with views like this, you can understand why I love to sit in that bench right there with, after I go bike riding and just kind of hang out and look at the million dollar views and watch the people go by in their boats. I mean, let's be honest, with views like this, you just don't ever want to leave. To be honest with you, there are so many places to hang out with your friends and talk on Las Olas Boulevard. And I just love Maccabi Havana Lounge. It's been around forever and this wood carved Indian grabs your attention as you walk by and pulls you in. And it's just a cigar bar, but it's been around forever. It's really cool. And you just never know what you're going to find on Las Olas Boulevard. I met Colette, this really cool artist, just painting the outside of a store. There's so much to do on Las Olas Boulevard, like renting an electric bicycle or going on a spin on one of the golf carts that go up and down Las Olas. Let's talk about the exclusive shopping available on Las Olas Boulevard. 
Moss and Hoffman has been around for over 75 years, and it's the epitome of class for sophisticated men's clothing. And right on Las Olas, we have the classic Lily Pulitzer and the exclusive Zola Keller evening wear. No matter what you do on Las Olas, you're bound to find something unique. Like unique treasures, I love this place. It's been around forever and look at all the crazy stuff available inside. If you had a mansion in the area, I'm sure you'd be able to find a lot of great stuff. On the western end of Las Olas Boulevard, you'll find Del Frisco's Grill. It's an upscale bar and grill featuring modern American cuisine with handcrafted cocktails. The newest addition to Las Olas is Salt 7. Located at 500 Las Olas Boulevard, it's got tons of outdoor seating and look at that view. Wow! Boathouse at the Riverside Hotel is another restaurant located directly on the New River. So if you're looking to dine and have a great water view, this will certainly not disappoint. And no trip to Las Olas would be complete without visiting Yolo, because you only live once. This is a really cool place. It's on the western end, and it's a wonderful open-air vibe. And as you leave Yolo, it's seen and be seen, especially if you have an upscale luxury automobile. If you haven't seen a specific automobile, you're more than likely to see it on Las Olas Boulevard. Check out this beauty that I saw. If you like cars as much as I do, then you know this is a classic. Check this out. You never know what you're gonna see on Las Olas. From golden lions to gold and watches and really cool artwork, Las Olas Boulevard really does have it all. Hey there, thank you for watching my video. Uh, as always, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content, subscribe below. And until next time, see ya.